What's around everyone? How are y'all doing during this airy season, right? I'm coming to you now to give you your Aries reading, right? And now we're fully into Aries. We're nine degrees in to Aries. What's around all you Aries people? Happy solar return. Happy flight day to you, right? This is a wonderful time for you to start creating new things, right? Initiating new things, starting new stuff, doing new stuff, right? No matter what, Aries could account about that, no matter what, no matter who's there, who's watching, where you at, what time of day it is, Aries be Aries. <laughs> so, Aries, Sun, Moon, Descendants, how y'all doing out there? Oh, wow. So this is the energy for you. You know, I have to come to you today, today, today. Today is my day to speak to you, right? To tell you what energies are you manifesting in, okay? What energies are you creating in? What energies are you planting your seeds in? What kind of seeds you're creating over there, huh? I wanna know. All right, comment below what you're creating over there. What's new? What's popping? <laughs> All right. All right, so this is going to be your Aries reading. So whatever zodiac sign I talk about, that's for Aries sun. Um, wherever your sun is at, wherever your moon is at, and whatever your um, ascendant is when it comes to the Aries placements, right? I'm also going to be talking about each zodiac sign. So your zodiac sign, Gemini, you know, zodiac sign, Cancer, zodiac sign, Pisces. But it goes for the sun, moon, and ascendant of that sign. So if you're Gemini sun, moon, and ascendant, that would apply for that Gemini reading. If you're Aries sun, moon, and ascendant, either one of those, that would apply for the Aries reading. All right, so let's get into what does these cards really want to talk all right what energies are you manifesting in Ooh. what's around sun moon ascendant aquarius is how you doing out there all right mars is well the overall energy <laughs> for everyone um is the death card and this is a representation of that what's going on so here you got the Five of Cups. So something emotional, it, you, you're being affected by your emotions, okay? Your daily life is being affected by your emotions during this airy season. And um, in a way that's good and in a way that, that, you know, it just depends on how you look at it. If you want to stick around and be in that disappointment, woe is me, um, I should have done that, I regret that I did that then things are not going to work out, you know, in the long run. Like, the whole reading is about what energies are you manifesting in. So if you're manifesting in this old um, pessimistic, you know, the glass is forget half empty, half full, ain't nothing in there at all because it's going to spill. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, you all mad. Now, if it's breast milk that you spilled for the ladies out there, even for the gents, you know, because you got to rely on the women to, to bring the, the milk. So if that, if that spills, okay, that's different, you know, because that, that takes a lot of work. So when that spills, it's like, uh-uh, okay. But, you know, anything else right now, but Aquarius, but still the mom can, you know, go back and pump again. So there's still, she could turn around and go right back up in the room and pump again, right? So this card is saying, don't stay too long down there you know yes that's why i say it could be good and bad depending on how you look at this card but um since you know i see the light type thing just turn around you know just turn around you still have you know two good cups standing there you know and they're nice they're shiny they're ready for you to pick them up and go it's a little bit rough it might be for y'all because y'all got venus and mars you know um hanging out <laughs> Just just hanging out with you, you know what I mean? And Saturn is there. 
you know so the reality is smacking you all up in the face when it comes to love and what you what you are passionate about what you want to do versus what your heart say versus what your mind say versus what this birth oh my gosh i can only imagine what the Aquarius is going through but you know i'm rooting for you Aquarius, because you know we need you okay so i I'm gonna speak to myself. I need the Aquarius. <laughs> so, um, can y'all turn around, please, and then keep moving? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> but um, some things that you can control is yourself, okay? So, you can control your thoughts, you know, you can control your feelings. So, start surrounding yourself around positive things, positive um, things that make your emotions lighter. Um, I don't care if you're into comedy, I don't care if you're into bowling. I don't care if you're into painting. I don't care if you're into running. I don't care if you're into playing checkers or chess or dominoes. I don't care if you just like punching at the air. You know what I mean? Whatever it is that you got to do to get you out of your funk and kind of balance those emotions, not really blame yourself for everything because everything is not your fault. You can't control everything. And start associating yourself around positive minded people you know people that can look and say oh this glass is really full and overflowing or oh that's okay the cups fell that's all right we could just pick the cups up wash them over there in the river we could use the cups for another time you, know, you might need people around that just to give you another side of it you know they might be a little annoying sometimes just like watching clueless right watch that movie clueless she was all bright and just and that could be annoying to people like oh my gosh something goes somewhere but at certain times, you would need that little bright, bubbly personality to say, oh, that's okay. I'll help you pick these cups up. <laughs> you know, I'll help you carry them over here. That's all right. Um, don't, don't rely so much on people to do it for you. But like I said, it's okay, especially if you have people around you that are willing, they, they want to. You know, the intent is good. They know if they come help you clean out your your backyard that you can start growing um, petunias because you love petunias so much. You know, so they don't mind spending the Saturday with you and telling you their jokes all day while they help you because they can see the potential of your dream. So people like that are, 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 are wonderful to have, you know, around, even if you need them for an hour or so, go out to eat and hear all the positivity of life. <laughs> you know, you might need a little bit of that. You might need somebody to take you down to the river and just shoot rocks with and talk crap with for the day, you know, just to get the load off your back. You might need to go down, you know, and watch Mark Madness games, you know, and eat some chicken wings with some celery or something like that. And then that way when you come back to these cups on the floor at home, you have a different perspective. Maybe somebody did an alley-oop that just changed your whole perspective on life. <laughs> you know what I mean? So don't, don't just stay stuck, you know, move on with it. You know, forgive yourself for making those decisions. Forgive yourself for, you know, saying yes to that person or saying no to that person. Forgive yourself for not taking the opportunity or taking the gift. Forgive yourself for this is about every season. This is about new. That's what so you can learn from this sorrow, from this grief of what you don't like and what you do like. And now you can just turn around, pick up your cups. You now know what you don't like, what you do like, what you want in your space, what you don't want your space, what you want to deal with, what you don't want to deal with. And trust me, you will find like-minded people just like you and they don't have to be Aquarius that's going to be like I feel the same way as you and you're like that's what I'm talking about <laughs> all right so let's go Aquarius is uh, the world ain't got time for you to be like this learn from them because it's only going to make you a better person trust me but I'm, I'm waiting I just like I just need to see the Aquarius because it's like whew, y'all always be having me like my mouth be just hanging down like y'all did that like whoa okay all right have a wonderful day and night someone in the ascendant